Hi everyone. As I have mentioned before, I have finished my Fabriano um, Extra Rough paper um, pad and this was my last illustration, last page. And so I decided to do a flip through. So let's go back to the beginning. So this is what the paper pad looks like. It's a 270 GSM. It originally had 12 sheets. This is the size and um, it says it's extra rough. So I have ripped out two pages because I've done some um, two illustrations which I wanted to hang and so they're not here anymore. The first couple of illustrations that you will see here are actually, well, were, they were done years ago and I can't quite remember when exactly. It must have been something like maybe three, four years ago, something like that. So let's go ahead and have a look. So uh, this one, well, I'll, I'll keep it, I don't know, um, I'll probably cut off. Um, I'm not sure if you will be able to see, but I'll just zoom in. So this is an illustration of Mira Duma, um, who is, I think she's an editor right now of some sort of Russian magazine. Um, I hope you can see that. But um, she was wearing a dress from Camila and Mark, and I kind of felt like sketching her. So that was one. Uh, this one, um, just a bikini that I kind of created in my mind. And so this is, um, I think this was originally a lady I saw in a magazine and I just decided to do kind of um, something that looks like her um, and what else oh yeah and the last one is a Chanel lipstick that I've done which I quite love um, something about it that I think I would like to frame it at some point maybe I just like the sketchy look of it all of these were done using the St. Petersburg white nights and so this is now from this year and they're all dated and I will just go through and explain the process. So here I have used a Daniel Smith and this I have done on the 26th of June. This is when I basically, I think I was about a week into the holiday and I decided to start painting and you know just kind of enjoying that process again. So I've done these flower girls which um, I then went on and did a series. If you follow me on Instagram you will be aware of that and yeah so this is the beginning of the flower girls. I just randomly saw some flowers in the garden and decided to give them color and then eventually I thought why don't I attach body bodies to them and create this flower girl. So these were the first flower girls that I created. Here is a little bit of information on the colors I mixed. So to create the hair color over here and the eyes as well, I used Inder Throne Blue and Moon Glow mix them together and that's the color that came out um, then I just decided to quite randomly fill up the page and just get my sketching going which I think is the best way to um, get into it if you haven't done it for a while so this was just a perfume bottle um, that I saw in a magazine and the color I used here is green gold. That's the only color I used. The gray that you can see here is just by applying water to the um, 
this pan here so all the sketching is done with this pan which is my favorite black ink pan it's pilot gtec c4 and it's water soluble so it moves when you apply water then i wanted to create a black color because i don't have black have i mentioned that all of these are daniel smith if i haven't done yes so they're all daniel smith and i don't have a black because uh, it's a it's a palette well i can just um remind you of what it looks like it's a palette that i created myself and i did not want to have any black because i can mix it um so i then needed it for this uh makeup call um call me kajal by garland and so here is the colors i used here are the colors that i used for creating this black it's very simple i just used the blue green and red and then throw in blue sub green and pile of red and then i also decided to do the valentino red spike shoe and that's what it looks like so that's it um really and that was it for that day and then the next day i then went and started to draw more of these girls so here i decided to frame her and i just um painted some foliage from some leaves i picked in the garden and yeah that's that's really just that and then next to it I decided to use this long space and create these wild strawberry girls and call them the twins so um, the colors that I've used in both of these illustrations are St. Petersburg white nights next ones are the day after as you can see there is consistency and I think if I could give a tip if you haven't painted in a while just get into it and make sure you find a little bit of time and do it daily the more often you do the better you start getting at it and i definitely can see an improvement in my watercolors um, there is also another um, sketchbook that i brought with me um, when i came on holiday and here i just paint my if I just give you a sneak peek so here I paint my um, kind of flowers and all that sort of um, fruit and, and all that kind of thing and everything garden related basically and um, there I have seen a major improvement in my watercolor skills so here I call this illustration sisterhood just because I paint in the same flower um, in different um, stages of it so this is uh, one that's just um, small and um, hasn't opened yet and this is what the flower looks like later on so kind of made a, a younger sister and an older sister so i hope you can see that i'm going to zoom in here the detailing so here again i basically started using st petersburg and really really loving it so the lines are quite simple when it comes to arms and legs because I'm not great at it. I prefer painting faces, bodies and the flowers. So I always start with the flower and then just, you know, go upwards and downwards to finish. Um, next one is the Lavender Girl. So I think here I have given myself two days break, but I think I might have done another illustration um, during those two days which I have like I said ripped out of here so here we still have St. Petersburg and this is my lavender girl again I started by painting a lavender flower and turn it upside down to give that body kind of skirt illusion and then continued into the body and the face um, yeah so that's that and then next to it I decided to have a color um repetition and i painted a lily and called her lily girl obviously so i love how the watercolor looks over here if i'm not mistaken i have mixed 
um, I think ultramarine and is it the ivory black from St. Petersburg? I think it is and it um, has this beautiful effect. Oh, um, so actually these are two different days. So this was on the 30th of June and then on the 1st of July I painted this girl, so the day after. Then I decided to um, paint my face girls. And this technique I've seen somewhere um, on YouTube done many times and I thought let me just um, try and make it my own. So all I've done is just um, taken the idea of taking a um, skin tone watercolor, mixing it to a skin tone and then applying it in an oval shape and while it's still wet you just drop in the um, cheeks um, as the blush and the eyeshadow and I actually made a video um, couple of videos before so go ahead and have a look how to make these ladies and um, yeah so that's what I've done I've created eight ladies and it was super fun to do it's a very kind of relaxing but very fun technique to get your um, watercolor technique or style a bit loosened up so these are Daniel Smith and like I said, buff titanium is a little bit too yellow on its own, but mixing it with a bit of pink creates this beautiful skin tone that you can see variety. Somewhere I would add a red, somewhere I would add a magenta and things like that. So um, yeah, depending what direction you want to go, peachy or pinky, um, you can mix beautiful skin tones. And this is the last page and these are the girls that I have made, made a video um, to show you how I do that technique. So still Daniel Smith is used in these illustrations. So here is a simple version of just um, the head and the shoulders. And then, you know, if you want to go a bit further, there is uh, this one here, which goes like that and you create a part of the body. Oh, there is this full flower girl which is the orchid girl um, yeah so it was super fun 10 pages filled and um, it was really enjoyable and like I said you know I by doing this every single day I have learned that my favorite technique is the technique where I just drop in water into um, a concentrated part of the watercolor make it flow and that is it I you know that's the best thing I like to do um, and obviously mixing a few colors here and there but yeah so that was super fun and um, I would recommend to if you want to improve your watercolor skills just do it very often make sure you do it consistently and you will see um, a definite improvement I will do a flip through of the other um, book maybe if I go um, get to half of it which should be soon and then I'll do part two of the second half just because it would be otherwise a too long video if I go to um, explain the entire book this is the Stillman and burn or burn and stillman no i think it's still in burman so um yeah it says over here so it's quite big as you can see it has loads and loads of pages and let's see i am almost halfway probably i am halfway so stay tuned and um you will get a flip through of that book as well that one is just purely like i said just um flowers and everything garden related so thanks for watching and see you soon